Hello everybody and welcome to a little update video that I am doing for uh, Farm Together. So I'm just going to give you guys a little tour of my farm because since you last saw it, it has uh, it has grown. I have spent many an hour on here because I love this game. It's so simple and just like chill and everything like that. So I've got all my grapes here which I'm doing for quest at the moment. So I've got, uh, if you remember in here, quest log. We've got uh, the four science quest at the moment. I've got uh, to harvest cypresses and piranhas. The cheers for the newlywed is uh, making some green grapes. So I've just been doing those. And we also have to harvest some bamboo, which I have around the place anyway. Um, we also have, apparently, there's been a couple of updates. Um, you can now get alpacas in the game. You can now also get horses in the game, but I don't know if I've got those unlocked quite yet. And there's also this Easter harvest which um, means that you can plant Easter eggs apparently. So we'll have a look at that today as well. So I'm not gonna, I'm not actually going to harvest those right now. So you can see everything needs to be harvested because obviously I've just logged in. All my ponds, that's a little trout pond there. I've still got my, my fish up there. I think you saw those. This area has been expanded to have lots and lots and lots of corn, which is going to be worth a lot of money when it's harvested again. Uh, we've got this grape area. I've got that's just a decorative windmill. We now have a bakery and a silo. I'll explain what those are in a minute. We've got cypress trees over here. We've got another big massive cornfield. It's like it's like children of the corn, isn't it? These are all mulberry bushes, and uh, hopefully it will turn well. We won't see until summer what those do, but they uh, grow little silkworms on them. And um, we've got this one, which is pear trees. I think we had all this last time. I've unlocked this square here. I've unlocked this square here quite recently, which is why I haven't done a lot to do it yet. Um, and then I did have, I'd made myself like a little picnic area up here. You can see a little picnic area with my campfire and all my, my ketchup and my hot dogs and stuff on there. Decorated the place with like little flags and teepees and stuff like that. Um, that's just a, another load of another load of fields that I can plant, which for some reason I left unplanted. I probably ran out of money to be honest. Well, I've got thirty k. So I'm not sure why I didn't do that last time I was on here. Uh, this is Duck Island. It's still a work in progress. We should actually feed them. Hello, ducks. How are you doing? Those fields were planted by the game, not by me, because I wouldn't plant them in such a stupid place. <sighs> Honestly. Nice of them to give me a freebie, though. There's my bamboo. I should harvest my bamboo if I can, and my cypress trees. Honestly, there's no point using the tractor fuel for that. Is that part of my little... Oh, they're not harvestable at the moment. So, this is my pond. I've got a big piranha pond there. I've got a big uh, little tiny koi carp pond there. I expanded my ducklings. I can't remember whether you guys had seen the ducklings last time. I've got ducklings there and we've got uh, ducks there. Planted some strawberries over here. We have a cow field over here. I don't think you guys saw that one. We'll go feed the cows, shall we? As I say, I'm not normally I would be going around all of these and just like harvesting them all. Uh, but at the moment, I'm just kind of feeding the animals and not really doing much else. Because I want to just show you guys things. But we might need some, we might need to go harvest things just to get some money. Because I want to try all these new things. Like, the, I reckon I can make a field of alpacas today to show you. So that's going to be pretty cool. I also think I'm going to be able to put down a honey um, stall today, which is quite good because it means that I can get medals. Because I have ten med you have to spend ten medals, but then you can all these honeys that I'm harvesting here, all these little honey things, I can put into the honey stall. But I just need to decide where I'm going to put it. Is the main thing. Okay. Those these guys have eggs that I can harvest. You can harvest them with the tractor, but if there's only a couple of things to harvest, then I don't bother. Okay, I think 
I think over here would be a nice place for a field of al of of lovely alpacas. Don't you guys think so? We could just go around the corner here, I reckon. And then I could put something here, like a stall or something. Yeah, I like that idea a lot. So we're going to start maybe around, around here. And let's see about these alpacas. So. Uh, do, 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 go. I can make a jam stall. Look at all those pancakes. I think that's pancakes. Yeah, definitely pancakes. So I've unlocked this uh, Berkshire pig. And I've also unlocked this... Uh, alpaca but you can see here that I need to be level 30 before I can unlock horses oh my goodness but how cool is that gonna be so I'll I'll bring you guys back for another update when I get horses okay but I will get them I always play this game so it's like my little game so I've got to be a bit careful because <laughs> I've planned I've done three alpacas here and I've got no money left. So I think we're going to need to go and do a bit of harvesting of various things. Oops. So that we can get enough money to make some more alpacas. I'll work up I'll work up the money to plant all my fields again. Don't you guys worry about that. I need to go. I, I reckon if I go and plant all of the... Well, those strawberries were straight up to 31k again. We could harvest the grapes as well. They're not going to make me much money. The corn will make me a lot of money, though. It'll be enough to make some really good... A really decent little alpaca field. We're now level 18. So we're only 12 levels away from getting horses now. Woohoo! Honestly, this is kind of what we do. We just go around... Get ourselves some tractor fuel, because we need it. Harvest all the honey. We'll do the honey stall in a minute. I'm just going to go around and do a little bit of harvesting, because I really do need to. Harvest all the trees that I can and all that sort of thing. My trees now, um, you remember these used to be 17 per harvest? They are now, as you can see, 14? What? They must have adjusted the prices on those because I was getting 20 per apple at one point. Boo! But yeah, these corns are good. These corns are good. Look, we can get 3k per corn. So you can see the money going up insanely. Or actually, I sh I sh I'm being very bad. I'm not. I'm trying to be good and re-sow the fields after I uh, harvest them. And then I can go through the whole lot again once I've got some more corn or whatever. Whatever I want to plant. I don't know because corn's quite seasonal. Um, there's only a couple of seasons you can plant it. But it's really profitable. If I plant it, I think it costs like 1k to plant or something. Let's have a look actually. Oh, we should be planting Easter eggs, shouldn't we? Yeah, I'm going to plant a massive field of Easter eggs. I don't know... I don't know what I can even get for these Easter eggs. Oh look, I can get a sprinkler. Waters the two adjacent tiles. Oh, these are all new. Wow. A delta kite. But these are not with Easter eggs. We don't, you don't buy these with Easter eggs. You buy them with... Um, but that will permanently make everything quicker. So that'll be totally worth it. So I'll put the honey stall in and then I'll use all of my stuff to make sprinklers. Be really good. These kites are beautiful. They'd be so pretty. I don't know what the what you're putting your Easter eggs in for though. I'm trying to see if there's anything you can buy with specifically with Easter eggs. Point of interest. Fast travel? <gasps> wow! So I can go from like the veggie area to the other areas really fast. I'm going to be putting those in everywhere. Wow. Oh, you know what? Some of these are probably because I got to level 18. 
a filling station. Oh, a really big capacity gas station instead of these little gas pumps. It restocks at three per second and has a capacity of 500 instead of 100. That would completely fill up my tractor every time I went to it. That would be amazing. Wow. All these different trees. I just don't know what Easter eggs are for. You get eggs from them. Oh. You harvest them for gems. Yeah, that's probably fairly worthwhile then. I'll plant some Easter eggs. My tractor's run out of fuel. You've got to be careful about that because then you end up like planting half a field and it's no no good. So let's uh let's go and get some more fuel. And then yeah, I've had to replace the music on this one because every time I play it with music, all the music gets copyrighted. So I'm just gonna put some like some nice chill, probably some uh, Kevin McLeod music instead of Josh Woodward music, which gets copyrighted. See, Josh Woodward, I don't need your music. <laughs> but yeah, it's a, it's a real shame because it is nice music that he's made, to be fair, and um, I'm sure it's not the composer's fault. It'll be some company he's made a deal with at some point that is just being a pain in the bum. So I'm playing with the music turned off and then I'll probably put you guys some nice non-copyright music on later. So these piggies need a, a good feed. I've got way more honey. I've got honey all over the place to pick up. It's great because when I put this honey stall down, we're going to be able to uh, trade loads of different honey. Okay, so where am I going to put it? This is the question. I might even need to move this one as well somewhere. I don't have any like little random spaces at the moment because I, I used to have loads of little random spaces. Do you know what I could do? I could actually, I never use wells, right? Never use them. So we could just get rid of a well or two and put the honey stall there. Let's see how big it is. So I think here is a nice place where it's nice and kind of nice and central. Look, I can have hammerhead sharks. We should make a pond of hammerhead sharks later, definitely. Wait, where's my honey stall? Honey stall, honey stall. Cheese stand, no, we don't need a cheese stand. Oh, she lab. Come on, honey stall. Honey stand, I think I'm going to need at least two spaces for that then. So we can keep one of the wells. So to turn it, I generally just need to do that there we are so there's my honey stand and as you can see I already have lots of honey ready so if we just have a quick look in my escape menu it'll show me how much stuff I've got so honey I have 20 out of 60 so to get one medal it has used all 20 of my honey oh wow I'm going to need way more of those bee stalls, aren't I? Okay, so let's uh, carry on with these Easter eggs. The amount of gems I'm going to be able to get off those is is staggering, so it's going to be quite nice. Easter eggs everywhere! And then we will go back to the alpacas, because, you know, they're feeling lonely without their brothers. There's only like three of them. There's my Easter eggs, and I will water them as well, just to keep get them going a bit quicker. So you can see that that's gone from like four hours down to three hours and eleven. It would help if I watered the right fields, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think today would definitely be a good day for doing hammerhead sharks. And alpacas. So I'm going to just harvest the other cornfield because if I do that, then we'll have more money for alpacas. And I'll, I'll work something out. I'll, I'll work something out. Okay. I might not have enough money to plant any more corn, but I'll work on it. We'll just use all the money today 
for alpacas and hammerhead sharks. So if we got about 300k here, um, it looks like I didn't have enough money to quite plant all the corn I wanted to there by the looks of it. But it was about 300 grand's worth of corn, so that was pretty cool. That up there, by the way, is a fruit press and a winery that I've got. And they all give me gems in return for various things. Okay, so how about how about here for a hammerhead shark pond? You reckon? Or is that too many ponds too close together to each other? I don't think so. I, I think having a bit of a, a water world over there is quite cool. Right, so. Alpacas! I'll do what I can. Um, you know, obviously, there's only there's only so much I can do with the levels I've got. Um, and eventually, and obviously I need to keep enough money that these alpacas will be able to be fed as well. So what I usually do is I just leave like a little stripe around the outside and then when I have a bit more money I come back and I fill it in. I did that with the cows earlier on as well. I have leveled up myself. Yay! Now I'm trying to think what I'm going to want to do here because this is going to be quite... Probably put a path down there. I'll probably put some stands and stuff along here. Oh, actually, I've already got a path there. So eventually that's going to be like that. Stands will probably have to go here. I could maybe do some of the bigger stands and stuff. Because some of the, there are some, some decorations and stands that are like a 2x2. Two two. So probably don't want the alpacas going any further than here. I think that's going to be the end of their pen. And then I can put various things all the way along the path then. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. And then I think on this side it'll go up to where the path ends here. I think I want it kind of in line with that. And again, we can put stalls and things along there. There was me saying, oh, I don't have enough room for all these stalls. But now I do. I've got loads of room for them. We'll put a nice little fence round. We'll give them some noms and they'll look lovely. What fence do you think we should have? I think llamas might want like a nice, um, one of those nice green fences. One of those nice ones that are made of leaves like I've got on the other side. I don't have many of those in the farm full stop, so I think they're pretty good. I think we're going to do that. And I do think I want it in a square, so I do think I'm just going to leave that one last little square just on its own. I'm not going to put an alpaca in there. So look, there's my big alpaca field. How lovely does that look? So I need a nice fence to go around it. So let's decide what we want. I, I've got a feeling I want this fence. We've got a wall. We've got some walls that I haven't unlocked yet. I'm not finding the walls particularly nice looking, honestly. I tried doing some walls. You can see on the, uh, on the cow field over here. And they just didn't tessellate together very nicely, I didn't feel. I felt like they were just all over the place. So I, I actually ended up replacing them with... Oh, actually, we have this green stuff on the cow field as well. Hmm. But yeah, I, I still think it's nice. I still think it'll do it. It's like having hedges, isn't it? Which is quite nice. So I'll put them a nice big fence around here. I like to have the animals fenced in, even though they don't actually need to be. I could just leave them like this and they'd be fine, but that wouldn't look right, would it? It wouldn't look right for them to... They're not to be a way in. Now, I would say it would be good to have, like, a um, a way into their pen just by that path there, because that would be... You could just go straight in there. So I would say that that's where the way in should be. So just leave that for now. And then we'll put a nice fence. It's got a lovely little archway that you can put in. I think we're going to do that. So this is going to be for the... Oh no, I did one the wrong way around. Well, we'll go fix that in a minute. Because the minute I start fixing things, I've got to take... Uh, got to take it off my cursor and then it... Then you've just got to put it back on again afterwards. And it's quite a pain, so... All the bits and bobs I need to fix, I will fix in a minute. I need to know how big the archway is going to be so that I can fit things in around it. 
But you need to go back in your pen there so that, like, I can pen you in. There we are. They sometimes go out with their pen. They don't normally. So, yeah, doesn't that look so much nicer? Like, my little alpacas in their little pen there. Right, so I'm going to just um, get the archway, which is four. Uh, that's... That's fine. Then we need to go back there. Get another fence. There we are! My alpaca field! Oh, except for that one little bit that I needed to move. So, yeah, 14,000 to feed them. They're going to be lucrative. That's a big field of them, um, considering how much they cost. So, yeah, that it costs about 150k to, to make them. Maybe a bit more, actually. Oh, if I picked up the... This is the problem. Sometimes you pick up the wrong thing when you... Trying to pick up the, the hedge and I'm picking up the stone trail. I may actually need to move the stone trail in order to actually properly pick up the uh, the hedge. Oh, now it's picked up the wrong bush. Oh, we'll put that over there. This is why I was saying it's going to be sometimes a little bit difficult. Because the game doesn't really know what you're picking up and I... I, there may be a way to make it do that, but I'm not sure that I know what it is yet. But at least you can just do it this way. You can move things around. Until you get them right. There we are. Set that. Set that in there. Beautiful. We've got our lovely alpaca thing. Um, I haven't... See, these guys... I wanted to show you, like, the milk and stuff. That these guys do they're actually nearly ready so by the time we've done our hammerhead sharks i'll be able to show you what they produce there's little bottles of milk in the ground which is hilarious how are these land race pigs doing they're nearly there these guys need a feed i do need to replant all my fields i will do that i'm normally a lot better at that but like when i'm trying to show you guys stuff it becomes more like a guided tour and also i like to show you me making new things I could put my hammerhead sharks on the other side here, couldn't I? Next to the llamas. Shall we do that? Right, hammerhead sharks. Lan we've got anglerfish, you've got piranhas. Well, we've got the piranhas on the other side. So this is a very dangerous part of the... Um, I'm going to make a nice big pond for them. I don't, I don't want them being cramped or anything. So just this whole little square here will be a hammerhead shark pond. Love it. I love all the animals and they're adding all the time. Like it's not like it's um just stopped. And it's not like you have to pay extra money or buy, these, buy gems or anything like that to get... I mean, there are gems in it obviously, but they are from all your produce, you know. So you've paid one price for this game and then you just get to play with all the different animals and things they're putting in. So it's amazing. It's really good. It's what these games should have been to start with. You know, they should never have been like pay extra to get a horse, pay extra to get a cow. It should just be like you buy the game and then you play the game. There we are. Those are my hammerhead sharks. Don't they look cool? Maybe they need a fence too. I'm actually kind of thinking the alpaca field needs to be expanded as well. I think it needs to be like expanded in line with the hammerhead sharks, which are going to be all the way up to here. So if I, maybe it would help if I just put the path in along here quickly. So this is the path that's going to go along the wall. Eventually that wall will get removed and I'll unlock this other space here. And then I'll have to work out what to do with that. But I'm just working on this square here at the moment and then I'll be working uh, working on the new square that I unlocked over the other side as well because I've not done a lot there either. But it's good when once I put the paths in where I want them to go it gives me an idea of what sort of shapes I'm working with and what sort of things I want to put in there. 
So I've got this, this big shape along here. Um, I wanted to expand the alpacas, didn't I? So we'll do that. We'll, um... Do you know what I'm actually going to do? It's a little bit lazy. I have a lot of gems, so I don't really care. Um, I'm just going to put these in. Rather than messing around with moving them and stuff like that, I'm just going to remove them. probably end up removing the wrong ones now, you watch. So we'll put in an extra three or four different... I could put something different in there. Nah. We'll just make it alpacas. Loads of alpacas! Yes. Oh, it actually got rid of the right one. Hoorah. Fantastic. Right, so I want another four alpaca tiles. And then I want to try and put some sprinklers into my areas because that's a brand new thing that you guys haven't seen before. Oh, it's actually another six, isn't it? And then I've got all sorts of... Um, I could put another field of something in here. Um, a 2 by 2 by 8 or whatever. I could put another pond in here equally of something. Or I could just put in random little stalls and things like that. So are there any stalls I haven't had yet? There definitely are. Is there a dairy? Have I had a dairy yet? See, these are all now taking, um, like, medals. Which is a bit crazy. Cheese stand takes 10 medals. I could even put another winery in. That takes 6 squares. A dairy takes 4 squares. Yeah, I've got a milk stand, but I don't have a dairy. So we could put a dairy or two in. Along here. They would fit. So 1. 2. Three. Three dairies in. I don't really know if I need three dairies, but it looks kind of good in amongst all the livestock, I think. Um, although, actually, what I think I want to do is move them slightly, so <laughs> I always do this. I, I put it in where I think I want it, and then I want to move it. But I want to move them so that they're there, look. No, nope, you stay there. Let's move this one. Just because I don't like these dairies being right on top of the alpacas like that. And then I could find a little decoration or something. Usually, I usually find some little thing that I can put in there. A pillar, a lamppost, a gnome. Scarecrow. Is there anything that takes a couple of... Yeah, we could put some hay bales down there. Um, they take two squares. So if I just put them around that way. Some hay bales. There we are. So got hay bales and then a bunch of dairies along there. And then, as I say, I could put other different stalls along there. I could probably put more apple trees up here and just expand that a little bit. I mean, they're not ideally placed, I don't feel, but... You know. So at the moment I need loads of milk to get these dairies working, but I'll probably put... I, I'll expand the cow field. Oh look, the cow field is ready. Look at this. Look at this, guys. I still need to expand the cow field, like, out right the way... Oops. Go away. Right the way out to the uh, to the edge there, but at the moment we get a lot of milk, so you can see they just, they just throw bottles of milk on the ground. How crazy is that? But that's what they do. So you get 1.24k for each bottle of milk. And we run out of tractor fuel. Rats. But you get the idea. You get the idea. Oh no. That was not what I meant to do. Do that all the time. If you left click on an un, uh, altered tile, it will just try and hoe it. It's kind of annoying. So you guys need more food, apparently. 
It's going to be three hours before they're ready with whatever produce they have. I am imagining it will be wool, though. They'll probably have some kind of wool sticking out of the ground. But yeah, I, I can't remember whether I had shown you guys the pigs. I cannot remember. We can use the dairy there. Get ten gems out of it. I imagine we'll get... Sorry, that's not a dairy, that's a milk stand. And the dairies, I imagine you get a lot more from them. So you get ten from a milk stand. And when you put down the big dairies like I've got down the bottom there, those will last me a long time, by the way. Down a dairy. Get 25 gems for... How many? Twenty-five gems for twenty-five milk, and on the milk stand you get. What do you? Oh right, right, right. No, you get your five gems back, but you also get cheese. And then when you get cheese, you can sell that cheese for medals. Oh well, that's totally worth putting those in then. Yeah. At the moment, I'll be using the milk stands, but uh, it's good to have the dairies in there because that's going to be really useful later. I'm just going to quickly... Oh, I keep saying I want to quickly do this and I want to quickly do that and I have no fuel for my tractor. Grrr. But yeah, I'm going to have loads of gems because every single one of these Easter egg tiles is going to be a gem, which is amazing. What a good... What a good little Easter thing to do. And apparently that's going to last for the next 30 days or so. Just so you know. But yes, with that we have um, we've put down our hammerhead sharks. We've put down our alpacas. We've checked out as far as we can the horses. But they're going to take a little while to um, for me to get up to the level where I can put them in. Um, as I say, probably ooh, I'll do maybe another update for you guys once. We maybe unlock the next... Oh, do you know what? There might be a horse. That looks like a horse at level 22. So that is not too far off. That's only four levels away. So maybe in a week or two, I'll do another little update and I'll show you the level 22 horse. But I think that is... Um, you've seen everything on the, the farm now. I'll see if I can how much I can zoom out and show you like the scale of all this that I've made. Because I think it's quite impressive. I can zoom out a bit more, actually. Then you can't see very well, actually. You can actually see better on the second zoom. Because you can still kind of see. But I've got still a whole bunch more stuff that you can un unlock. I've unlocked all the way back that way. I've still got another square I can go back that way. I've still got another square I can go back that way. And still another square down that way. And the farm is going to be huge. But yes, I will be back and I will be showing you a little bit more of this, as I say, once I've done some more work on it, because I don't feel that it's a sort of game where it's more a game that you play and you grind, and then you come back and you show people what you've done. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how things have progressed since you last uh, had a look at this, and I hope you'll be back soon when I do an update again, and uh, if you'd like to see that, then please do subscribe to the channel. I hope to see you soon. In the meantime, though, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.